Hello friends, welcome to my new video. So today in this video, I'm going to discuss with you all how to read your eyeglass prescription. Okay, so let's start. So uh, it happened many times to many people that uh, whenever they went to an eye uh, doctor or an optometrist and if uh, the doctor or the optometrist prescribe an eyeglass, then they give a prescription and their several numbers are written. So it's very difficult for uh, many people to understand what this number actually mean. Okay, so that we are going to discuss today. So, uh, in the beginning of this slide, you can see that uh, there is uh, uh, some columns and rows are there where some re uh, written like SPH, CYL, XS, VA and OD, OS and some numbers are written. So, what it actually means? So, let's start with the uppermost row that this row here I, I means which I, okay. And here SPH means spherical. So, there is two type of lenses available, okay, like uh, spherical lens and cylindrical lenses, okay. Spherical lens have power in all uh, the part of the lens and cylinder lens have power in only two meridian, okay. So, this cylinder, uh, C, CYL means cylinder, okay. Now, axis means cylinder or uh, uh, cylindrical axis. That means uh, the axis means uh, that I will discuss in the later slide and VA means visual equity that how clearly you can see the chart that is used to measure your um, clarity of uh, seeing okay so this is vis visual equity and it is generally measured with Snellen chart or some uh, people use Logmar chart okay now let's move to this uh, OD so what is OD so OD means is it's nothing uh, but uh, it's uh, stand for oculus dexter okay which is the right eye okay and os means oculus sinister which means the left eye okay so now let's move to these um, numbers so here it is written that plus 2.50 spherical okay so now i need to clarify one thing is that spherical number comes with uh, the elongation or uh, decrease the exile length or increase the exile length depending on that thing the spherical number will come okay that i will discuss in the later slide okay and cylindrical number come depending on the curvature of the cornea so if the corneal curvature are irregular then the cylindrical number will come okay and the axis means cylindrical lenses have to uh, meridian okay it can be vertical or horizontal it can be 20 or 110 40 or 130 50 or 140 so there is two meridian one meridian is having uh, power and another meridian is not having any power okay so cylindrical uh, lenses have uh, uh, this axis here this 90 axis means in the this 90 axis uh, is does not having power of the cylinder its opposite axis that is the 180 degree uh, axis is having the power but the cylindrical lens uh, is put it in a way that 90 degree axis having not uh, no power or, but to distribute the power to the opposite meridian that is the 180 so this minus 1 so uh, this minus 1 power will distribute to uh, the uh, its opposite meridian if I place the cylindrical lens in 90 axis, 90 degree axis. So, this is the concept of using the cylindrical lens that I was all I discussed in the Strums, uh, Strums Conoid video. If you not watch that video, then go and watch that video. Now, another is visual equity that I is already told that how clearly you see, you can see. Okay, so uh, here it is written as feet. Some people measure visual equity in meter also. In meter, it, it is written as 6 by 6 or 6 by 9, 6 by 12, depending on how, how much clearly you can read the uh, chart okay now the, the, the ocular sinister is also the same these are the numbers which indicate the spherical power cylindrical power axis of the cylinder and the visual equity that means clarity of your seeing ability okay now let's move to the other slide that is the plus sign this plus sign indicates convex lens okay here uh, this is the plus sign it indicate its convex lens and minus sign indicate concave lenses okay so plus sign indicate the convex lens and minus sign indicate the concave lens and what is the axis that i already discussed uh, uh, that what is the axis uh, of the cylinder axis is present in the cylinder not in the spherical lenses okay now what is happening in the hypermetropia? So, uh, as I've shown here, this plus sign indicate convex lenses and minus sign indicate concave lenses. So, convex lenses are used to treat hypermetropia. Concave lenses are used to treat myopia and cylindrical lenses are used to treat astigmatism. Uh, now, con uh, convex lenses have another use is that presbyopia is also treated with convex lenses. Okay. So, this is the hypermetropia where the parallel rays of light which are coming from infinity are getting focused behind the retina. So, if you put a con convex lens or plus lens, then the focus will move forward and uh, if you place the proper amount or proper power convex lens, then the focus will be on the uh, retina on the phobia so that you can see the thing properly. So, this is the function of the convex lens. So, whenever um, uh, uh, you are hypermetropic or 
farsightedness then uh, you will you need this plus power lenses okay now let's move to myopia or it is also known as nearsightedness where um, it is um, minus lenses are used that is concave lenses are used to treat this myopia how this minus lens uh, treat myopia like you can see here that in the sparse picture the parallel rays of light which are coming from infinity are getting fo uh, focused uh, in front of the retina uh, why because uh, uh, because of uh, the uh, if the exile length is uh, larger than the normal so the uh, normal exile length is 23.4 millimeter or 24 millimeter mm, uh, but uh, if the exile length is uh, 25 or 26 then it leads to myopia or the cornea become uh, steeper more uh, more steeper than the normal then it leads to myopia okay so this thing can leads to myopia where the light rays get focused in front of the retina so if you put a minus lens or there is a concave lens in front of the eye then the light rail which, which are coming from infinity after getting refracted from this lens will get diverted and after get diverted uh, diverted the cornea will converge again and uh, the lens will again converge and the light rays can get focused on the retina properly because here you can see there is no changing of the path of the light but uh, after getting refracted from the lens the light rays are changing its path due to the ref uh, refractive index where you uh, learn that uh, the definition of refract, uh, uh, refraction that the uh, amount of change of the light rays pathway is uh, called as refraction okay so this phenomena is working here that it is the changing of the light pathway so that the light rays can get focused in a border way so that it can it can get focus on the phobia properly to make you to see the thing properly okay now let's move to astigmatism here i already discussed with you that astigmatism is due to the irregular uh, curvature of the cornea so uh, a cornea is having two curvature horizontal and vertical curvature suppose um, due to any reason the vertical corneal curvature get more cheaper than the horizontal corneal curvature so it leads to irregular focusing of the light rays in two meridians so it will lead to multiple focusing point so uh, this multiple focusing point needs to be corrected with two type of lenses one is uh, spherical another is cylindrical so there is perocylinder lenses will be needed to correct this type of refractive error so this is the astigmatism where multiple focusing point can be seen the focusing point can be um, uh, both focusing point can be in front of the retina both focusing point can be behind the the retina or one focusing point can be in front of the retina other focusing point can be behind the retina depending on this focusing point uh, position uh, you will put the uh, correct corrective lenses and you can uh, easily correct this type of refractive error that is the astigmatism now uh, another uh, is the need or to uh, use this convex lens is that press biopia so press biopia is not a refractive error it's a physiological um, uh, condition where the lens jonules or, or and the ciliary mu uh, muscle loses its ability to accommodate so that when you need to read a near object then the lens cannot uh, properly change its shape so that the light rays are focusing in uh, light rays get focused behind the retina so you need to put the plus lens that is the convex lens in front of the eye to make the light rays get focused on the retina properly to see the near object clearly so this is the phenomena uh, where press biopia working okay so that's all friends thanks for watching and please don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel and please don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get notification whenever i upload a new video thank you so much